I found the Noahide laws in the Bible. Let me read it to you. Romans chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. You don't think that you're a sinner if you believe in the Noahide laws. You believe that God is a big, cuddly teddy bear that just wants to hug you and be nice to you and everything else. Um, you're not a sinner. You're just... Uh, a good person and you can follow good laws and prove that you're a good person and you'll go to heaven someday and a rabbi will be there to lead you one mediator between god and man a uh, rabbi <laughs> um no actually well that is partly true because the rabbi that's there to mediate between you and god is jesus christ high priest forever after the order of melchizedek um let me continue reading here for christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth for Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things shall live by them. None of you out there, you, you uh, Jews out there, none of you are keeping the 613 commandments. Flawlessly and without error, none of you are. Don't even, you even give me that. Um, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh, speaketh on this wise, Say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, like the Catholics try to do with their transubstantiation doesn't work or who shall descend into the deep that is to bring up christ again from the dead but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that god hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart <clears throat> man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture saith Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. You don't need any Noahide laws. In other words, that comes from the Talmud. It doesn't come from Scripture. Um, verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You're going around, going around saying Hashem this and Hashem that. Um, that's not it. Uh, this is my land that I'm walking around on right now. Some guy walks up out here and he says, Hey, I know the uh, guy that owns this land. What's his name? The name. I don't need to say his actual name. I'll just say the name. Well, the Bible's crystal clear what the name of God is. Old Testament Jehovah, New Testament Jesus. Okay, there's a lot of tie-ins between those two names. But uh, you need to call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. Understand that your Messiah came in the first century. And that the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees, your modern-day rabbis, the Talmudic uh, people that are adding to the Scriptures, adding their own traditions to the Scriptures, uh, they rejected Jesus Christ, and they conspired with Rome to put him to death. Just like the Jews of today, in the finance world and a lot of the other things, they conspire with Rome as well. Hmm. They still reject Jesus Christ. So if you want a, a scriptural basis for the Noahide laws, right there it is. They, being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. There you go. There's your Noahide laws.